Hey guys, what's up? It's the Anime Blaze coming to you with another video, that is right. And today I'm going to be doing an anime review of the awesome, awesome, awesome anime movie, Padma Inverted. Uh, it's really, it's really, really unique for, you know, a lot of the different stuff that I've seen for anime movies. Um, and it was a lot of differences between that and a lot of different anime shows. And I figure you guys might want to hear my thoughts on it and what I think about it and everything. So, I'll get on, I'll get on with that. So, the story of Padma Inverted revolves around Earth, kind of like, you know, the planet we live on, in which uh, energy is has reached the point of where it's like, okay, we're running out of energy, we need to find an alternate energy source. So, what they wind up trying to do um, is harness energy from the power of gravity itself. However, an accident occurs and gravity is reversed for thousands upon thousands of people and it throws the world into a catastrophe. People's families are ripped apart, you know, because they fly off into the sky and, and die, never to be seen again and everything. And it's really heartbreaking and everything. So, you know, uh, apart from that, not every one of um, the people whose gravity was reversed for them actually died. Um, several of them, you know, the remainder of the inverts, which they called them, uh, who managed to survive, moved uh, underground to where they could actually live out their lives to the fullest of what they could. Now, enter Padma, the princess or the chief's daughter of said underground village. Uh, she's very, very curious. She knew uh, one of the guys who lived underground, traveled up to the surface and to the point of where one time he never returned. Because in this underground village, they tell them never to go up to the surface because uh, certain things of the past happened. They could be blamed, this, that, and the other, and several things could, uh, sorry, fly. Several things apart from death could happen aside just from them accidentally, you know, all this other stuff happening. And they don't, they can't comprehend this, this stuff. And we don't really understand it until Padma goes up to the surface and meets inter character Age, who lives in the, uh, I'd say dictatorship brainwashed society of Aiga. And Aiga is kind of like, uh, if you guys have ever seen the anime show Kiba, uh, it's a lot like, you know, it's kind of like the city of Neotopia. We're the country of Neotopia where everything is set out for you. You don't have to do anything. You just do what you're told, this, that, and the other. And bad things can happen. And they can set up different stuff for, you know, deaths. And, you know, it's just this really bad society. It looks perfect on the surface, but, you know, it's like bullcrap society, utopia kind of thing. So, you know, Age is kind of like the only guy who really understands what's up. So, he meets Padma and freaks out the first time he meets her and sees that she's inverted. So, they go on a journey in their own lives with each other to try to figure out the truth of what's really happening and, and you know, and return Padma to her village and, I guess, in the process find out what really happened uh, and find out that they're more connected than what they actually thought. Um, and... It's, it's really, really cool how they did that. Um, they really are connected in more ways than one. Um, what did I think about the story of this movie? The movie's story was really, really awesome. And, and even for, I'd say, a childlike kind of movie as far as just being like, oh, it's, uh, you know, it's aimed at kids, young adults, that kind of thing. Uh, it explores a lot of different themes that you might not... Um, you might not see in a lot of different things like it, it, it explores the idea of genocide um how the city of Iga or the country of Iga thinks that the you know it brainwashes its citizens and its um, multitude of people into thinking that the inverts are the ones who cause the problem even though they are the themselves the victims of said problem um you know and, and they can't fix it for now at least they don't know a way to fix it so you know there's that uh, it, it, under, it goes through the thoughts of mass genocide, uh, racism in a lot of different ways, too. And, uh, and I really like the way it explores those thoughts and how it, you know, goes about it. And um, the another thing I'd say the idea, another thing I like about it is the fact of, like, inversion. Like, I've never seen an anime movie or, like, TV show or anything like that really do anything remotely this cool, like, ever. It's like, oh, you can fly if you hang on to the person to keep them doing that. And the, the perspective of it is just amazing. See, I didn't I didn't watch the movie um, subtitled. I, I watched it on Amazon Prime. Uh, it was in HD. So everything was crystal clear, smooth. And the, the vision of Earth from 
uh, from Padma's perspective, it's just freaking awesome. Like, imagine your idea of falling. For us, the idea of falling is like, you know, falling from a cliff down to like a dark hole, uh, tripping over something and like, you know, falling down like in depths of something. But for Padma, falling is an infinite process. You get to see that. Like, for her, falling down is falling up for us. So it's pretty freaking awesome to see that. And in a way, you can kind of see how it's scary at the same time. So I really do love this movie, guys. If you have not seen Padma Inverted, I recommend you go out and watch it. If you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it on there. Uh, the dub is not bad at all. It's, it's actually pretty good. Um, I recommend you go and watch it. If you have a Blu-ray player, get that thing on Blu-ray. Uh, watch it in HD. It, it's, it's just amazing. So, with that being said, this is the Anime Blaze signing out saying, never doubt your capabilities because you never know what you might be able to do. Trust me, it always works. And this was probably one of the better anime movies I've ever seen in a long, long time. Later.